Phil, Phil, uh, Philippines. Where's Drew? I haven't seen him. Drew? Drew? Sad, sad. Drew? Yeah. Hey, come on. You can waste your time after you finish your homework. If you don't do good in school, how you ever become a doctor like your Uncle Ezra and Anna and Gail? Let's go. Good night, son. Good night. Make sure not to stay up late looking at magazines again, okay? You need your sleep. I won't. You really need to try harder, okay, Drew? All right. Now, in the story we read yesterday, can anyone tell me why Maria was feeling lonely before she met the talking bird? Because she had just moved to a new city and didn't have any friends yet, Mrs. Alvarez. She missed her old home and school. That's absolutely right, April. You know, you've been doing so well. I think you deserve one of these. <laughs> Andrew, can you tell me how the talking bird helped Maria feel less lonely? Drew. Drew. Drew! Sorry. I've been calling you. Can you answer the question or no? Do you mind repeating it one more time? Jeez, Louise, if you were listening, you'd have heard it the first time. The question is, how does the symbolism of the green light evolve throughout the Great Gatsby, and what does it ultimately represent? Oh, jeez. I graded all your essays, so grab them on your way out. You, come here real quick once. You failed another one. I'm starting to get really worried about your future. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Well, don't be. I mean, I'm only taking this course as an extracurricular. So? You still gotta pass all your classes jeepers. You don't wanna grow up to be a failure, do you? Jeez Louise. Well, go on, Drew. Get out of here and get to your next class already. Chimney. He's the youngest person to travel to every country in the world. A lot of us uh, talk about doing it. This guy actually did it. Travel oh. expert Lee Abamonte. Lee Abamonte? Stamps on that passport Thank to you. Prove it. <laughs> I, I, I can't believe that he gets three flight tickets and hotels just for talking about brands. Imagine Diana traveling the world for a living full time as a career like he does. Sounds like a dream. <laughs> Much more interesting than doing anything in IT, that's for sure. I can't even stay awake in class, but uh, gotta make my mom happy. Lee Abermonte went to every single country by the time he was 31. I did the math, and if I start by the time I graduate this summer and travel to 20 countries a year, I can do it by 30. Good luck convincing your parents. <laughs> If they find out that they spent all their money on you and your econ degree only for you to never use it, I don't think your mom and dad would be very happy. Why wouldn't we be happy? <laughs> oh, I missed you so much. You're looking good, son. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Binsky. It's so nice to see you both again. Hi, Deanna. Oh, please sit. So, what's gonna make us upset? The idea of me traveling the world for a living after I graduate? <laughs> traveling the world, that's a good one. 
You gotta work, honey, like all adults. Speaking of which, when are you planning on applying to Industry 500? I heard a lot of grads are making six figures straight out of college. Uh, no, mom and dad, I was actually serious. Look, I, I know you guys have done a lot for me and I appreciate everything you do, but I really want to travel the world for a living after I graduate. Look, I get that it sounds crazy, but just hear me out. Ever since I was a kid, all I ever done is dream of visiting other places. I wanted to know what people like to eat in India or what the street markets are like in Thailand. I wanted to ride camels in Saudi Arabia and then travel to North Korea and- North Korea? Okay, we can talk about that one more, but the point I'm trying to make to you guys is that I really, really want to do this. Please, I'll still finish my degree and I'll save up all the money I had from working and I'll visit you guys all the time. Drew, traveling is something that people do for fun. You have to get a job. Yeah, how else are you gonna make any income? Traveling is expensive, you know? You'll blow right through your savings in no time. Yeah, I haven't really quite figured that out yet, but... Uh, by, by blocking. Mm -hmm. He'll document everywhere he goes, mm -hmm. um, give travel tips, take yeah. pictures, uh -huh, and um, write about all of his adventures. That way, as people visit his website, Drew will make money from brands. Mm -hmm. um, plus, he'll get perks like free plane tickets and hotels just like Leah Abamonte does. Who? Oh, a guy who traveled to every single country by 31, and I can do it by 30 if you guys let me. Please, this is all I've ever wanted to do. It's, it's my dream. And all this time I was hanging on to the hope that you would decide to go to medical school and become a doctor like your cousins. Do you know that your cousin Abby made $150,000 last year? And here you are talking about wanting to travel the world? And what if you don't get all these people to this website and brands paying? Then what? Then I'll stop. I just will try one year, and if I don't have it figured out by then, I'll just work a real job. Six months. Wait, so is that a yes? Oh my God, thank you mom and dad so much. <laughs> I swear you will not regret this. I'm gonna make more money in a month than doctors do in a year and I'll make both of mm -hmm. you guys proud. Or you'll be asking us to buy you a flight home when you run out of money. I need a coffee. Same. <laughs> Wait, when did you make a website? Well, I... I gotta put my IT skills to use. <laughs> and I figured one day you'd have the courage to ask them. Thank you, Deanna, so much for supporting me. And I promise you that I'll make enough money and this will all work out and we can travel together full time. <laughs> or I'll be making enough money for us. <laughs> so where are you going first? Let's see.
Hey, I just finished uploading my India blog. Nice. How are things going? I'm excited to read about it. Well, I'm still feeling pretty jet lagged, but um, with the Indian food and the spice, it just kind of went to my system, and I've been on the toilet nonstop. But other than that, I'm pretty amazing. I'm learning a lot and having a lot of fun here. <laughs> are you gonna be home for your birthday this weekend? I'm excited to give you my present. Unfortunately, no. Um, I'm gonna be in Thailand actually, but Can you give me just like one second. Hello? My debit card got declined for the security deposit. No, that's my only one. Okay, I'll call the Airbnb. Thank you. Is everything okay? No, 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 no! Gosh, how can this happen? My bank account's never been this low. These foreign transactions, is this even legal? I've been watching my bank account closer. How's the vlog doing? Well, had 126 people view me the last 24 hours, which came to four dollars and twenty cents. Are you kidding me? God, this is such a disappointment. <laughs> Any airlines or hotels contact you? Any brand deals? I don't even know if I'll get a flight back home. Gosh, you know, my parents were right. I should just call them up right now and tell them I'm a big failure. Why don't you sleep on it and tell them tomorrow? It's a so cool if we talk later. I'm just feeling sad. I love you. I love you too. Bye. Oh. your birthday, I was thinking, is everything all right? Look, Mom, I have to tell you something. You see, uh, I'll, I'll call you back. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what are you doing here? I wanted to surprise you and to give you a birthday present in person. You flew all the way across the world to see me. But honestly, you could have waited till tomorrow because I do plan on leaving here soon. And I was literally just about to tell my mom that I should give up and quit. Don't give up. That's actually the real reason why I'm here, to convince you not to. Well, these last few months have been brutal. Um, I've made zero money, and the total vlog has been an utter failure. Are you telling me that traveling to China, Italy, India, and all those other cool places was a waste? Think about all the people you've met and all the experiences that you've had. It doesn't seem like a waste to me. Drew, this was your passion to fill your passport with stamps from countries all over the world. Don't give up. I've always believed that if you follow your dream long enough, it'll eventually work out. Okay, experience-wise, you're right. But I'm talking about more from a financial standpoint. The only way this whole thing was gonna work out is if I made money. And nobody seemed to be interested in my blogs. Well, I've got a solution for that, too. <laughs> a video camera? Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> well, blogging is becoming a thing of the past. What people care about now is vlogging. But making videos? I've never done that before. I feel like I'd be really weird doing it. <laughs> That's why I'm here. I'll be going with you to some countries, at least. I've already told my mom, and she's totally cool with it, at least as much as she can be. <laughs> and you're serious about this? Well, I mean, 
how else are we gonna pay for our next trip? I'll use my savings and uh, I'll hold us over until your videos take off. It's either that or you can always go to med school. <laughs> so, what do you say? I say, where are we off to? It's not up to us. We'll let the universe decide. Drew prepares for his next adventure, and this time with his girlfriend by his side. Over the next several years, Drew travels to countries all over the world, including Nigeria, Kenya, Ghana, Philippines, UAE, and even North Korea. He vlogs all his travels with his new camera, and to his surprise, his videos take off. He racks up billions of views, gains millions of followers, and even gets interviewed by top media outlets around the world. Most importantly, he makes lots of unforgettable memories. He eventually gets married to Deanna, and after visiting Saudi Arabia in 2021, Drew accomplished his goal of visiting every country on earth all before his 30th birthday. But little did he know, the most exciting part of his whole journey was about to come next. Surprise! Oh my gosh! Hello. How are you? Oh my God! How are you? Oh, honey, come quick! Drew's here. Hey, Dad. Well, isn't this something? Yeah. When did you get into town? This guy from Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Yeah, yeah. And I have something for you guys. No. Yeah. Oh, honey, uh, we don't have to get anything for us. It's look. Open it. Okay. You made all of this in a year? No, in a month only. That's a lot of money. I told you I'd make more in a month than doctors do in a year. <laughs> I'm so happy you're doing well, son. Thank you. Make sure to invest the money wisely. Oh, I am. Turn it around. Sorry. Now you can pay off the house. No. I hope you're proud of me. Proud of you, son. Oh, my, oh my God. God. Thank you. I love you guys. I'm so proud of you. 